world of N-Rail, welcome to the N-Rail table. We're celebrating 50 years of N-Scale Modular Model Railroading, and I am privileged to be seated right next to the famous Dave Ferrari. Dave, welcome to the table. Thank you. We're going to ask you. We're going to ask you a few questions. I'm going to start with the ones we've asked all of N-Trackers. What was the first time you saw an N-Track module? I was at a train show in Mottvale, New Jersey, sometime in the 80s, and there were actually two N-Track layouts set up there. The club that I am currently in had a splinter group that broke off for it after some differences of opinion. Okay. About 80 something. 80 something. Yeah. And uh, what impressed you by what you saw at that moment? Just the fact that it was out of a show on the road, it was a good size layout, um, long enough to go, I can't remember how big. Um, but that's what impressed me most. Okay. Uh, and, you know, incredible scenery, and the trains ran well. In all of your career, Model Railroad, how long have you been an N scaler? I started in N scale when I was uh, about 11 years old. Okay. Maybe a little sooner. Roughly what year? Uh, that would have been 1969. All right, so since 1969 to 2023, what is your favorite N track moment of all time? That's really hard. I know. Even though so I've memories. heard these questions asked about it and thought about it, uh, there are a lot of moments. Uh, I would say. Um, when I finally built a module for myself, a little two-foot module of Maywood Station in Maywood, New Jersey, uh, and had that in the layout. Okay. Prior to that, I just been going to do that. shows and operating on other people's modules and public modules. Yep. And so, really, what really brought it home for you is you were modeling something in a place that you'd actually been. Absolutely. Prototypical yes. model railroad duplication. Yes. That's what you were doing. But the one, oh well, uh, was we're, we're a mountain division club on our end track stuff, and there was no mountain line anywhere near Maywood. Right. So I, you know, I had to disguise it. Right. Look on the highway. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Dave, thanks for sharing those memories with us. We will put these memories as part of our end rail and track 50 playlist on the end rail channel on youtube but since we have you here you've been working on a few other things during the course of your career all right so tell us in, in your career you've done a little bit of work with t-track right and n track right have you gotten into Fremo land at all i have not okay so what would you say that most to somebody who doesn't know you at all what are you most known for in n scale railroad I would have to say most people really uh, met me when I ran Deluxe Innovation. Tell us about Deluxe Innovation. Uh, um, I bought that business when it went out for sale in uh, 2007 and ran it for about 10 years. And, um, unfortunately, supply problems in China with the factories going out of business, uh, delays. I was forced to close down the business. Some of the tools were sold off. Um, so I stopped doing the business side of it. Well, that's but, a short answer to the reality. Everyone who went to a train show during the time that Deluxe Innovations was in business clearly would know who Dave Ferrari is. Right. So we had right. we had booths at most of the national shows, and um, I would do occasional regional shows as well. Okay. So let's fast forward to the last ten years. What would most people say Dave Ferrari is known for at N Scale Mountain Railroad? That would be that I am the president of Northern New Jersey N Track. Yes. And I am running T Track layouts for our club. Uh, I, I run the N Scale Gathering T Track layout in Atlantic County. Uh, that's coming up in April. And also, uh, I run the uh, Altoona Pennsylvania N Scale Weekend. Uh, Combined track or track One of those shows we have a brochure for on the table, right? Yes. All right, so did, did you give us all the basic information about that already? The uh, dance club gathering is April 22nd and 23rd at the Atlantic County uh, 4-H Fairgrounds. Uh, and 
are set up for Friday the 4th. Okay. And it's all in scale. All in scale at the 4-H Fairgrounds in New Jersey on April 22nd and April 23rd. And then you mentioned Altoona. Right. Altoona is uh, the Pennsylvania in scale weekend. And that show is the 20.